This episode, I will monitor the burgers and record the results of my experiment. I inspect the burgers twice a day. I keep a log of when I look at the burgers and note any differences. Looking for fuzz or strange colors. Hi, and welcome back. It is now Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. I am now going to check my burgers for any decomposition. I'm now inspecting the homemade burger. The homemade hamburger has started to create white patches of fuzz. Now time for McDonald's. No change has happened. Burger King. Still looks the same. Now Wendy's. Still looks the same. Finally, five guys. Still no change. In summary, the homemade burger has started to create white patches of fuzz and all the other burgers are not. And it proves my hypothesis that the homemade burger will de com will deteriorate faster than out of the other four. Okay. Now that the homemade burger has started to create mold growth, I'll have to throw it away to prevent biological containment. I'm going to go to the actual dumpster. Hey guys, welcome back. I decided to check on my burgers again. It is currently 10.15 at night, and I discovered that the Burger King burger has started to create some little patches. If you can see there, might be hard to see. That might be better. And honestly, I thought that the Five Guys burger was going to decompose quicker than the Burger King, but I guess we're wrong. Oh, I not have to expose this. My next and last episode, I will finalize my documentation and make the science fair board.